And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Tarek Draven, another deck that we went 5-0 with earlier in the week. This is Rank Up Sunday where we're playing some of the decks that we did really well with earlier in the week. Um, usually what we're doing here is yeah, either replay decks like that or, or play uh, more established tier 1 decks. And uh, yeah, we're going with three replays here with Lulu Shen, Trundle Vi, and Tarek Draven. And then we'll be trying out a new version with Aurelian Soul and Leona. Played a few different Aurelian Soul and Leona decks. We're going to try a new version with those cards up next. But yeah, this one is, is a real aggressive deck. <clears throat> you know, trying to attack in with Draven, having Tarek support Draven or Tarek support other stuff. Um, you know, Tarek does work well with the um, spinning deaths that Draven creates because you can you can go spinning death on. Is that it? Is that the name of the card? Spinning axe. Sorry, you can go spinning axe on Tarek and then uh, have that spinning axe uh, copy over to the next person also. But then we also have Might. Might is amazing with Tarek. Um, give Tarek plus three plus three overwhelm support. Have the next thing get, get Might. That's definitely awesome. And so that's kind of what we're going with with the overwhelm. We got Might. We got Cato the Arm. We got Captain Farron finishing the games out. Crescent Guardian, huge overwhelm threat. And then we just got a bunch of one drops get ahead early. We got um, nine one drops. Good two drops with House Spider, Shield Bearer, all that kind of stuff. Um, uh, what do you mean axe doesn't work oh axe targets Tarek and the card in hand oh, oh well hmm all right well I guess that one doesn't work I last time we, we never did that last time as far as I know so um, okay it works if you discard a spell but not units right well we don't yeah, well, we don't discard units. Or, oh, okay, so like even if the unit doesn't go into play, because then that'd be another... So if you just discard a spell with it, like if you discard, like, a vision... Okay, well, we'll see, we'll see. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. But anyway, yeah, this, this deck was pretty good of just um, beating down while the opponents were, <clears throat> you know, maybe a little bit slower than us last time. Captain Farron does a great job finishing games out, too. There's one sleepy puppy dog. Right there. The other one the other one is kind of closer to me. You can't see the other one. Harvey, she's, she's the one making the noise. Kind of rolling around. <laughs> All right, Lulu Shen. Definitely keeping the ones, probably keeping the Crescent Guardian. We'll get rid of the Might for now. <laughs> Thought my dog's name was Captain Baron for a little bit. <laughs> no one's the wiser. In position. Ooh, not taking the trade. So they likely have the quick attack. You're covered. Or Bright Seal Protector. Clad in shining sunlight. No, I haven't. Uh, username. I haven't really looked at Jinx discard with Poro Cannon yet. Something we'll definitely get to, but I haven't gotten to that yet.
Alright, that could be useful. Maybe I don't even make this block. I don't think I do. Yeah, they had a pretty good one, two, three, four, definitely. A lot better than what we've been having recently. Draven also. I'm ready to shine. All right, let's mess some folks up. These Grizzle Rangers are getting annoying. Overwhelm damage. Ah, quit your yapping. They just block with Grizzle Ranger. They're taking nine. Ah, and that gets me three out of seven for Taric. Now, Transfusion doesn't really work with Taric because it does target two different units, but as far as like the first part of Taric, but as for the second part of targeting things seven times. Transfusion works pretty well at that. Um, it can be two. So next turn is turn six. I'm planning on playing Draven and Crescent Guardian this turn. The quiet of the woods. There's nothing like it. Belong to us. Could kill this Genevieve Elmhart by playing Transfusion, Spitting Axe, Discard House Spider. It's probably worth it. Oh, yes, yeah, so that's Spinning Axe counter for two, so I guess I could have Spinning Axe the Draven. And not that thing. I wish I would have Spinning Axe the Draven now. Um, so, yeah, that, that did count as two. It did count as targeting. The Spinning Axe did count as targeting the unit in my hand and that. So, yeah, it counted as two. So, yeah, I definitely wish I would have targeted this, the Draven instead. Oh, 
Okay, so yeah, so that's that's good to learn. So that's what somebody was saying before. So spinning axe does count. It does target the the unit in hand. So if Tarek is in play, I'll count. That's something that's going to be good to know moving forward for sure. So they can they can block and kill Draven there, but then they're taking a lot of damage. Like they can't block these precious pets if that's the case. And then you know Crescent Guardian is going to do a lot of overwhelm. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Well, never mind. Now this looks really bad for us. I mean, definitely would have been good if I would have just spinning axe the Draven, but you know, good learning, le you know, good lesson there. Didn't realize that's how that would have worked. That we would have leveled up Tarek. Good lesson. Okay, GG's, good good curve, Demacia deck, you know, Fleet Feather Tracker, Bright Steel Protector, so they get a free kill, and then Lulu, and then Grizzled Ranger, and then Grizzled Ranger again. That's pretty good. GG's. Yep, now we'll know that for the next game. I'm not sure. Pale Cascade's pretty nice. I guess I'll try keeping it. They both attack for three. Come hither, you beasts of glory. Shield Bearer and House Spider. Her power is unimaginable, even now. No, I can I can imagine it. Unyielding light. So we have Spinning Axe, Discard Vision, plus Pale Cascade. Even to the young bloods, we are nothing. This is awesome! <laughs> really hope they don't just also have single combat. That's a lot of attackers and damage. So they also have single combat? Well, that's too bad. Yep, sorry, Draven. That was a pretty great hand, though. Again, man, that's that's what today's been about. Awesome hands, because you know, Herald the Dragon on two, and then three mana four four. Turn four, have a three mana four four plus the mana from turn one and that turn get the single combat as well. Pretty nice now obviously. I had a good hand myself, so I can't 
shouldn't complain it too much. One star's whoopsie is another spark. The end of this world draws near. Herald of Dragons. Rough. Hey, kiddo. Dig your kid up. The power is unimaginable. You just have every now. single dragon. Definitely wish I could use might. Now we're cooking. I think I want to do this. Okay, I think because basically I was gonna say I want to have transfusion as protection. I know I could have saved that Solari thing with the transfusion. I kind of want to have transfusion for protection of these in case they had another. Um, single combat or something like that. Yuck. Ours is the one true light. Yuck. I mean, if I attack, I'm not killing them. Right, so I might as well play this, but depending on what they got with that Celestial, it could end up backfiring. You know, they got like the Obliterate two enemies or something ridiculous like that. Yeah, just nine health with healing. Whenever I'm trying to be real aggressive, that's that's tough. <laughs> as my forefather said before me, healing is cheating. Yeah, we're trying. She spake, and the galaxies listened. Go time. All right, so we're going to give this God, overwhelm. Have that have overwhelm. Also, just have single combat. It'd be really sad. We know one of these is a celestial that costs seven or more. We have two other cards. Uh, we're going for it. GG's. Yeah, GG's. Got there. Good job, cat of the arm. I'm good. I 
I attacked with two units from Shadow Isles? How do I attack with two units from Shadow Isles? Spiderling token, I guess? That House Spider makes? I guess House Spider makes Shadow Isles token. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, the Spiderling. That must have been it. Lulu Z. We're facing a lot of Lulu today. We have nine one drops. I really want one with us having the attack token on turn one. Cool, we found one. So, with this hand right now, we'd be going Solari turn one and then House Spider on turn two. So that turn three, we could play the Shield Bearer. Shield Bearer being a three six on turn, you know, like while we're attacking, makes them not want to block it at all. So that should be a way to get more damage in. So we want to play House Spider on two. Yeah, new Captain Farron. Definitely real strong. But I guess we see if they if they play War Chefs. Okay, yeah, it's that card. No three drop. I am the blade. Basically, no three drop. Devotion to battle. No reason to attack and just let them kill a spiderling whenever I can use the spiderling to help block Zed. Down to eight. That's good. That's real good with Tarek. Um, I guess we should block the 6-2. Maybe we don't need to block the 6-2. So they have Rally. That'd be annoying. We ran into a lot of opponents with amazing hands. Well, that's annoying. It is officially annoying. Yeah, uh, of course, Balding Yeti. Yeah, you can you can always do that. It's time to shine. And thank you so much for that resub. I really appreciate that. Um, I mean, I don't have any other option. No mercy for heretics. That was the one card that could win them this game. That was the one card. So options are like Pale Cascade, the Taric, and then play Pres Crescent Guardian with Nightfall. Um, I don't think just Cato the Arm. 
is worth it. Perfect. Wish I would have chump blocked the six power, I guess. Should have. There's not really a Kato support chain. It doesn't it doesn't chain. Pumps up the elusive to be four power. Mentor. Little rally was the one card that could beat us, and it did. Yeah, Mountain Sojourners is the card that chains. So we have uh, Draven on turn three, with the Draven's biggest fan. The best card here would be like a Vision or a Might or you know like some kind of pump spell like that. My faith protects me. Because of Fae Blade Twirler, I think that the three six is going to be a better play than the House Spider. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. So I want to play the House Spider to block this 3-2. No, I guess I'll just, just keep Me curving too, out. Kiddo. Me too. Get on some of your own speed. <laughs> Thanks, DWI. Thank you. Alright, so yeah, Nenuel, so you want me to do that that list instead of the one that you donated for the other day? Okay. Don't worry. Do you want me to play them both? Because you did you did redeemed another donation deck, Nenuel. Did you want me to play them both? Obviously the card that I wanted to see the least was the Yasuo. Okay. 
Okay. If they have intimidating roar. I was gonna say if they just have intimidating roar, it's like over. So I'm going to be hard casting the vision. I want to do spinning axe. Because I don't want them to know about the vision first. I'm going to do the spinning axe here. And let that pump up the house. Wait, that doesn't pump up the house spider? Because it targets the... I thought if it targeted a spell it would. Well, that was a waste. Killed Yasuo. So that's cool. We do know they have Draven in hand. It's likely they're casting Draven. Oh, that's awesome, Balding Yeti. I'm so glad to hear that. I'm really glad to hear that. Um anyway, so okay, so I guess spinning axe targets targets the card it discards and and targets the Taric. And we noticed that earlier whenever we discarded a, a unit to Spinning Axe. And so that's what I was thinking was that um, that whenever it's a unit you can't do it with the Taric, but I guess you can't do it with the spell either. So I guess Spinning Axe doesn't work with Taric. But all good stuff to keep learning. The arena, arena bookie is awesome with the Draven. They just turn two spinning axes into two real cards. Pretty awesome. I don't want to play Captain Farron before combat because you know this is a Yasuo deck, so they're going to be playing like their Yones and Arachnoid Sentries and all that kind of stuff. So I don't think it's worth playing it before combat. So we are going to pump up the. Let's boogie. The Draven, I suppose. It's either the Draven or the House Spider, and what are you waiting for? Guess I'll go with Draven. I'll make this quick. You cannot win. They have two stun cards.
Alright, let's try to decimate. We just got a block. Try to stay alive. That's a good one. We can play that and still play two decimates. It's a good one. didn't need this. You know, would have need the Solar Soldier if they would have had, like, Yone. They could have stunned multiple things. So they had they had one deny. We'll see if they have another deny. Hopefully not. They know they have to keep four mana. You know if they do have a deny, they have to keep the four mana up for the deny. There we go, Captain Farron with all the decimates. Finishing the game out. Captain Farron's just a wonderful finisher at the top end. Now we, last time we played a lot of games where Captain Farron didn't matter too much with the games being over before turn eight, but opponents can stabilize. They do a pretty decent job of stabilizing. If they do, if they are able to stabilize and then you play Captain Farron, Game's probably over. Yeah, go ahead, Beast. Go ahead. That sounds good. We'll do that after this game. Alright, so here's Twisted Fate Swain again. So I've talked about before, this is a difficult matchup to win, because this is just a difficult deck to beat. We're definitely mulliganing the division for sure, because we need threats. The thing is, this Tarek is a pretty good threat, so I may want to just keep both Tareks, because one's going to die, and then we have the other one also. It, does, it slows us down quite a bit having two four mana cards, so maybe we don't. I don't know, that's a, that's a tough one. Hmm. None of our 9 1 drops. Okay, cool. Loki Beast, yeah, we'll do that right after this. <laughs> Draven's biggest fan. Why don't you show up last turn? Yeah, Lulu Shen was, was fine. Like, we, we had okay hands and stuff, but we played against a lot of removal and a lot of people with awesome hands. And so... There's some tough games. Played against a ton of this card, Petty Officer. Clad in shining sunlight. Petty Officer is probably on the short list of, of really great cards. It's Shadow Assassin should just be a 2-2. Like if they have right, like if Petty Officer is a thing. Shadow Assassin can be a 2-2. Me too, kiddo. Me too. 
don't have elusive, but you make it a 3-2, and then you also create a one drop, which is pretty awesome. I'm just going to save the two mana with the Pale Cascade. We're going to save it for later with protecting Draven, Taric, Cat of the Arm. Those are the important cards. These ones are not the important cards. transfusion I'm just left with a one health Draven it's really easy to kill things with one health Draven out undefeated you're not supposed to be cheering for the opponent don't don't tell them to have good cards oh first draw in rage jetty that's pretty awesome. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. Every time I play against this deck, they they have just a, you know great cards of like whatever whatever the situation is. I guess Arachnoid Sentry and Arachnoid Sentry and uh, Ravenous Flock. Combined and Petty Officer. I guess those are just great cards all the time. Yeah, so 30, 34 cards. <laughs> Putting the two uh, Enraged Yetis, and there's one right away. Do wish I had one more mana and I could have Transfusion and Pale Cascade available, like where I could Pale Cascade immediately and then still have enough mana for Transfusion. Punish transgressions. So if I, if I pill Cascade, I think I do that. That is pretty awesome copying it and drawing another card. Um, but obviously I'd like to use like the transfusion in response to whatever removal spells they have so it's a tough tough call of which one to do Get barnacle. You pick the losing side. this is rather dull so we can spinning axe discard the Draven's biggest fan. Mine. Why are you here?
he here yet? Oh, man. I would like to draw Draven this next turn. Because Draven gives me another spinning axe to be able to discard to the other spinning axe. And it just fits seven mana of Draven with the two transfusions. Tarek's about to level up. Tarek's at 6 out of 7. Draven out. It's Draven time. Now we're cooking. Get to just keep this <clears throat> get to just keep this transfusion. Yes, I mean just one card, then a random card. I think we play the Captain Farron first. Man, that Tarek was going to be awesome because I was going to have Tarek support Cato the Arm, so neither Tarek nor Cato the Arm could take damage, and then Cato. Going down to 10 against three decimates. Little risky. Justify yourself. How tedious. You're bluffing. All right, so there are 14. That Tarek would have been really good this turn. But we're still doing pretty decent. Now oh, I just got the three cards. Spray fins are good. Um, so save three spell mana. So we'll have 13, which is not enough for decimates. All right, GG's. Damn, I'm good. Well, there we go. That worked out.
very close games. Definitely learned some stuff. Learned about how the spinning axe targets two things. So if if you spinning axe and discard a unit, it targets the unit um, in your hand, which which I guess you know so it targets an ally. So that that works with Terex level up. That was a good thing that we learned. Um, so that was pretty cool. Transfusion didn't do as good of job as saving stuff as it did previously for us. Um, another option instead of that, of course, is the Sun Blessed Vigor instead of Transfusion. But, you know, I like how the Transfusion gets the damage in there. And the deal one to an ally doesn't matter if you're attacking with Taric with the Toph. We saw that one time. Um. But P Pale Cascade was awesome. That card was very good. And so was our, like, Solari Soldier, Solari Shield Bear. They, those cards were definitely pretty good. Um, and then, yeah, Cato, Captain Farron did their job finishing out games. So pretty neat little deck here. There we go. All right, so that's Tarek Draven. Um, <laughs> yeah, just had a bunch of Zap Spray Fins <laughs> beating us down that last game. That's a difficult deck to beat. The one that we just beat, Twisted Fate Swain. That's a difficult one to beat, but we pulled it out. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave any kind of comments about this deck, about other decks that you're really enjoying playing, anything else with Legends of Runeterra. Any questions? I'd appreciate those. All right, but thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.